When it comes to performance side-by-sides, Polaris is probably the leader in the market thanks to its Razor series of side-by-sides. Every year, it seems like they just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. This year, we've got the Razor XP 1000. It's an all-new machine from the ground up. Uh, bigger suspension, more motor, more room, more features. Overall, it's a much improved package even from last year's XP 900, which was a huge seller. We're gonna go out, hit the trails out here in Park, Arizona, and see how this thing does. This is probably the first side-by-side -side that takes some skill to drive fast. It's so fast, it's so powerful, it's got so much suspension, it lulls you into kind of a false sense of uh, you being Superman. You really gotta be on point, you gotta be paying attention. It's unbelievable. It's, it's like the super bike of side-by-sides at this point. Um, it's a whole new level, absolutely. Man, it's got a lot of grunt, and it just revs. It just keeps revving. It just keeps pulling. Even even this big, wide-open desert we have here, it's really hard to use it all. It's so powerful and so fast. Um, I think the people out in the sand dunes, this is going to be the king of the sand dunes. It's going to be the king of hill climbs. Um, it's going to be probably a pretty awesome mutter too, because it's got so much like mid-range and low-end grunt. I think it's going to be an amazing mutter and. Uh, I think even for the rock crawlers, it's going to help them a little bit. The, the new suspension setup uh, with massive Walker Evans shocks that are on this thing, it's really good. It handles the whoops like a champ. But it's got a little bit of body roll. Actually, it's got a lot of body roll. And that's the part that uh, is probably my biggest criticism about this machine is that it starts to settle in a corner, it dips the outside back wheel, and it lifts the front, kind of like a trophy truck style, so it sets you up for kind of like being a real tippy feeling. Um, so you got to be careful. You got to really set up your corners. You really got to be kind of on point and used to that kind of uh, light front end feel. But that being said, everything else, it just eats it up. It's unbelievable. Power steering's real good. It's real light feel. It's easy to, to move around in tight quarters and in the rocks. Um, but it adds a tiny bit of vagueness to the front end um, when you're really hauling butt in four-wheel drive to where it's kind of wondering what the front end's doing a little bit. Um, but I'll definitely take the trade off for the everyday usefulness of the power steering, absolutely. The new seats, they're pretty comfortable. Um, sitting in them, they feel a little bit kind of flimsy, but you don't feel it when you're driving, so I, I don't think it's an issue. It's just kind of you sit in them and you go, well, hmm. But um, they hold you in nice. They got nice bolsters on the side. Um, they hold you in place. You don't slide around. You don't want to slide off the seat. Doors are nice. Um, so much better than having nets. It's unbelievable. I just love just pulling the button, opening it up, getting it in, slamming it shut. That's awesome. But I wish they would have just put a full door on it. Um, this open area down here, I've already got nailed with a few rocks and things uh, from the front tires. So I'm sure you guys that ride in a lot of mud, you're gonna get dirty. The uh, little glove box section in the center for your smartphone, it's pretty dang cool. You use it as a GPS, um, hook up a little stereo system to it, you'd be able to see what you're playing. So that's kind of cool. Overall, it's fast, it's powerful. The suspension's amazing, and it scares me a little bit, and that's what probably makes it the most fun. Yeah.